Hello and welcome to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Andreas and today I'm going to show you three of my favorite large size coffee table books about Danish design. And they have some things in common. They're large, nice looking, informative and also quite expensive. And therefore they're a great birthday gift or Christmas gift for any design nerd out there. And I will start with this one. Uh, this shockingly orange book uh, written by the historian uh, Christian uh, uh, Bundegård in 2018. And it's called Finjul, Life, uh, Work and World. And the name really says it all. And here you can read about the person Finjul, learn about his long career as an architect and also see a lot of rare old pictures and sketches. As you can see on the content page, the book is basically chronological. It starts out in 1912 when Jules was born and ends way after his death uh, with a discussion about his legacy. And there's also 95 glossy pages in the middle where you can read about and not least see some of his most iconic pieces of furniture. The book closes with an illustrated inventory showing hundreds of works by Yule, uh, stating model name, date, manufacturer, etc. And this book is available in Danish or English, and it's public, uh, published by Strandberg. So this one is, is perhaps my favorite, but, but also that's, I, I love uh, Finn Yule, so that's probably the why. And next out uh, is this monograph on the Danish designer Werne Panton, simply called Panton. And it's written by Ida Engholm and Anders Mikkelsen and also published by Strandberg in uh, 2017. And no, we are not sponsored by Strandberg Publishing, sadly, but if they want to give us books, they, they, they really <laughs> may do so. <laughs> The first thing you'll notice uh, is the wonderful and colorful cover. Uh, it's the wave pattern designed by Panton in 1973, and it actually feels like velvet when you touch it, so it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. And the book itself isn't chronological. Instead, the different chapters deals with uh, different parts of Panton's career and work. There's, for example, a chapter about the environment, another on uh, about the, the many different furniture and lamp systems, and so on. And it closes with an inventory listing more than 250 of Panton's works. And the pictures are amazingly great and really inspiring. And I've literally been looking in this book for hours and hours and I never get tired of it. And everyone should really have this on their uh, coffee table. And last but not least, I want to show you this large and elegant monograph on the Danish architect Hans J. Wegner. Wegner, just one good share. It's written by Christian Holmsted Olesen and published uh, 2014 by Hatje Kants in, col in collaboration with uh, Design Museum Denmark. Um, perhaps the title needs some explanation. It's probably based on a quote by Wegner said back in uh, 1952. And he said, If only you could design just one good share in your life, but you simply cannot. Forty years later, he explained more in detail what he meant. All that talk about the share... It's nonsense. You can't make something definitive. Only people who don't understand what it's all about say so. I still think it can be made better. Maybe with just four equal sticks. <laughs> yeah, and now let's uh, take a look at the book. The design is clean and simple, with a cover in grey textile and the silhouettes of some of Wegner's most famous shares printed in red. 
and it's really large and heavy, almost difficult to read without having a table to place it on. And as you can see, the focus is set on Wagner's many different models of shares, and the chapters are named after the different families they belong to. For example, the round shares, the Chinese shares, and the folding shares. And this is a great move by the author. Uh, it makes it easy for the reader to understand the different models in relation to each other, and suddenly the hundreds and hundreds of shares by Wagner can quite easily be categorized. And there's no separate inventory listing Wagner's works, but it's not needed. The whole book is like a kind of huge inventory. <laughs> And yeah, this was my three uh, favorite coffee table books on Danish design. It was a quite short video, but Sanna and I will be back as usual next week with a new video. Until then, please check out our previous videos. We have videos about all these three designers I've talked about today, but of course a lot of other things too. Have a nice week! <laughs>